This is the final mock-up of a project I've been working on for far too long. Uh, this is a dual motor setup for a 24-foot pontoon boat that uh, goes on an electric-only lake. So the, uh, the Joneses all have fancy electric outboards, but we're going to try to get by with just two trolling motors here. One did much better than was originally anticipated, but with two, hopefully get a little bit more power and in the future be able to use differential thrust and fancy stuff like that. So this is in the down position. The part I'm calling the transom is the only part I still need to paint, but um, the main thing here is the relay rod set up to run off of the steering. So the steering from the boat that was set up for an outboard, of course, has a cable that comes in here. And this 3D printed part actually clamps onto the nut and everything to hold that, try to hold that secure. And then that runs inside and has a shaft that sticks out here. This is just to kind of represent that shaft. And then this is part of a kit that I got for connecting a kicker motor to a main motor on a big outboard. But I got two of those kits and I think they're going to work very well here. So if you, as you move the cable or steering on the boat, that's going to move our motors back and forth and it seems to work with very little resistance works really good and now the whole key to this system i'm going to go ahead and take uh, what i liked about this setup is that this is all quick release so if anything goes wrong with this setup or if i want to spin a motor around run it backwards or even take a motor out it's just very easy to disconnect that shaft and get it right out of the way so I can isolate the motors, isolate steering, whatever I need to do. Um, this part here is going to stay connected to that cable on the boat so it needs to stay in whatever orientation it wants to be in. So this free floats in here and I'll be able to pick up on this and go into a stowed position where both motors are elevated. This bracket here was very thankfully donated. Uh, came originally from a coffee table of all things. And then once this is up like this, you know, probably still need a little more to get it out of the water. And that's why I, for now I've kept each clamp from the boats and you'll be able to, or from the uh, motors and they tilt to forward pretty easy. So that's what I got so far. I uh, still need to just work out. This is this lines up with the rails of the existing transom. There's like a transom pod on the pontoon. So I just need to run some bolt holes through there to connect that town and do some wiring. But other than that, I think we're ready to get going with it.